Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page eight. Page eight. Now, it's going to be like page page uh, one. I'm going to have these two bifold cards, and these cards are eight and a quarter by seven. Eight and a quarter by seven. You're going to score them in half to make two cards, and they are going to get placed side by side here on the page. Now. I looked around and I didn't, I've got lots of whole sheets left of the 12 by 12, but I didn't like the way they went uh, behind this pattern. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use two eight by eights uh, and color block them to cover. I, ideally, this would just be uh, like page one where we had a solid background with the two uh, cards. So I do have a green, but I, I'll show it to you have this green which would work but I don't like the way that looks together I like this better so so that's what what we're gonna do and we're just gonna color block it so I left this the full width which is eight inches and then I took an eighth inch off uh, the height and then we'll cover the two inches and uh, leave a slight gap uh, for the color block and We'll just keep moving right along. Let me see if I've got the orientation right. Yeah. <clears throat> it's hard to tell because it's 8 by 7 and 7 eighths. I, I just need to check it and make sure I've got it turned the right way. Okay, so now we're just going to color block this piece in. Hmm, you could almost do it seamlessly, but I trimmed off the opposite ends. Let's see, maybe we can make it match. Nope, nope we can't, so we're going to put a slight gap here. Looking for my pencil. Here it is. Okay, let's take a look at this. I might need to trim it again. Oops, didn't need to do that. There we go. So I'm going to ink it and we're going to lay that down. Again, ideally, if I had a large enough sheet to cover it, I would have done that, but I don't. <clears throat> It's a little tough because there's a couple of patterns that I just, I, I'm just not going to use. Um, and that's why I feel like I'm short some of the colors. And one of the patterns is this just, I just don't see it. It does not look Christmassy to me at all. So I, I guess this is the right side. Like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it looks like some kind of a pod. It doesn't look Christmassy at all. The only thing that does are the um, holly berries, but like that's an, an an ivy leaf. It's not a holly berry leaf, so it's just very strange, and I can't use it. Can't figure out how to use it. I forgot I cut it on an angle so it's going to fit one, one way better than the other. 
There we go. No, it's even all the way around. There we go. So we've got these two, which are going to go side by side, like so. I'm going to come up. I don't know. I'll put it down and then I'll tell you <laughs> what it is. I'm going to center it top to bottom. I'm going to come in about a half an inch. Very scientific. About, about. <laughs> Just really want it to be straight. But I can't. The pattern's not straight. That drives me crazy. It's a right angle pattern that's not straight. Driving my eyeballs crazy. Okay, I'll look straight across the bottom. We're gonna open away from each other, away from the center. This is going to be the cover. <laughs> I'm getting heavy size from Nala in the background. to do the inside we're going to have magnets on either side holding it closed It's not right. I've either got two magnets or the wrong kind. That feels right. Oh, that's right. Wow, that feels really thick. Oh, it's on top of a magnet on the other side, that's why. That makes sense. Okay, here we go. Now we're ready to do the inside. And not tall enough. Definitely tall enough. I marked it and now I can't see it. <laughs> Pencil on black is tough. Mm 
Okay. Oh, that's a little too shallow. Oh, bummer. I thought it was wider. Hmm. I don't like that pattern either. No. Let's see what we have left in our 8 by 8 No. Maybe. But I'm running out of red. Green. We do have green, so that's what I'm going to use. Even though I'm not crazy about it. Hmm. Yeah, seven, six, and seven eights. Okay. 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 I like it. I didn't see it back there at first. <clears throat> I 
I could have used with more sheets of this. I like it a lot. And it goes with the red, the green, and the gold. It's a great background. Okay, now let's go through our stash and find some goodies to use. That's a little too big. see what it looks like. See how orange that looks? There's so many reds in this collection. It doesn't look very pretty peeking through. I do like this, even though I'm not sure what that is. Probably have some cute little tags. Got this guy, which I like. I like the white on here instead of the, the green. It just shows up better. Got joy to the world. this
<laughs> Let's get, get it down. I like it. All right. We are wrapping up on page eight. And then I think I'm going to take a break for the night and finish up tomorrow. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, if you haven't, check out our shop at www.scrapandcreate.com. And if you're out of country, um, one of the things that you can do that helps a lot is to like, share, and subscribe. Um, that helps us move up in the recommends for, um, for our videos. And that means we get more eyeballs on our projects. And that's a good thing for everybody because um, then it recommends us to like-minded scrappers and crafters. So if you would, if you don't mind, take a minute to do that. We really appreciate it. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon.